Code of Honor. Code of Honor. There we go. Uh, we were just talking about alpha male behavior. Should I have done like the more dominant handshake? Is that like a thing? Please. We're going to start. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Hey EW. I am RJ City and my guest, Claudio Castagnoli. Hey. Hey. Let's clear the air. I okay. say hey. You used to say hey. I still say hey. Do we have hey heat? I mean, would finding hay heat be like finding a hay ne needle in the haystacks? That's not or really. That, that was a stretch. What, what First was of all, was I think you say hey in a different way. I you say, do a more like yeah. a Fonz. Like, you look say at me. hey, I say ho that's a different You're thinking song, of right? tomato, tomato. That's do we have okay. hay heat? It doesn't bother we do you? We can clear the heat. Okay, not okay, great. Okay. You have to ask Haystacks Calhoun, though, if he has hay There heat, we go. We there's there, the better there's joke. The you finally there got go. there. It took a little there. while, took but you while, got there. You know. <clears throat> You're European. Yes. Some would say very European. Some would say that, yeah. But are you too European? I mean, I would say I'm European, too. If okay. you're uh, Are you European? No. Okay, so then I'm not European too. Then I'm right. be European one. Right. Are you a lot of your? Are you too much? Europe? Because some people say maybe you alienate the North American fans. Maybe they don't accept you because you're so European. Have you thought about Americanizing yourself a little more? I mean, I was a real American for a little bit. Yeah, but you could do. Uh, I can do you a little do better. bit better. I, I have some better. tips. I have you some have suggestions. Some tips? Okay, okay, sweet. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I was banking on. Okay, good. First of all, the well, name. Wait, can yes. I ask something first? Please. Are you a real American then? No. I'm a Canadian and a dual citizen. I'm a real pseudo-American. Oh, but the, okay. I fight for the rights of no man. <laughs> okay. The name. So okay, so okay, yeah. Let's Claudio Castagnoli. Yes. The last name. I can't spell it. I can't pronounce it. It goes. We get rid of it. Goodbye. Nobody's doing last names anymore. The first name needs a little zhuzhing up. So what about this? Claude. I don't mind it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All I right. Mean, I there mean, we go. One for one. There's people that call me Claude already. Good. Next, the ring work is a little too good. It comes off as pompous. Yeah, right. You understand what I'm I've saying? heard that before. I've stop heard that running, before. Too stop good. lifting people, stop jumping around, and please, for the love of God, stop doing the European uppercuts. Okay, good. I thought you were going to say stop swinging. Is no, no, no. Problem? Pick a, an uppercut that's a little more blue collar, like this. That's America. You know? You switch to this like one. Like a cane? Who? Can Eric and Kane from Can All My Children? That? Can we say that? So yeah. Real Are professional you here. So, 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 oh, yeah. Can you do your audience, right? Well, and your company. Can Sorry. you do an American accent? Um, let me think. Okay. Let's... I mean, I can if I hear it a lot. Okay. I could. Well, you're listening to me. So, well. <laughs> you're listening to me. Give that a shot. You were listening to me. Much so better. Very go. good. Okay, so let's give this a shot. I came up oh, with. Oh, well, we're gonna have some apple pie, y'all. Is I'm not a, Aunt is B. That a, is that American enough? From Mayberry. Okay, let's do, <laughs> but let's say we're doing a little backstage promo. I came up with a catch race for you. It's very popular already, so you're going to shoot right into the mainstream. Um, okay, uh, hello, AW fans. Here's a new superstar from Portsmouth, New Hampshire, by the name Claude. Claude, uh, what do you have planned in AEW? And then just say that. In an American accent? In an American accent. Big things. There we go. Straight to the top, Straight this to the guy. Point. That is fantastic. Claudio Castagnoli, good. Claude, the big, guy. Things. big things. Big things. Big, big, big things. things. You said you speak five languages, and sure, whatever you say. But I've also heard you said that you speak six, and that wrestling is your sixth language. I speak a little wrestling too. Let's have a little dialogue. Lock up. Hammer lock. Headlock. Top wrist lock. Waist lock. Abdominal stretch. Very good. That's excellent. That's really, really good. That's big things right here. As we mentioned before, you do do the big swing. And the whole swinging thing was very popular the in the 60s indeed. and 70s, and then it went away. Now it's coming back. How did you get into swinging? Oh, well, you know, like you said, um, it was popular in the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, but then the 70s, I'm yeah. a big fan of the 70s. Uh -huh. I was actually um, unknown, like, this is, you know, like, whatever time we're in here. Now? Uh, now today? Today. Yes. Uh, last time I was here, um, I went to a, I, went, I actually went to a 70s club because I'm a big fan of the 70s club. And you were swinging? Um, no, no, but uh, they wouldn't play any 70s music. Yeah, first I was afraid. I was petrified. Jesus Christ. You said that you train for performance 
and not aesthetics. Yes. And I just want to say I think that's bullshit because you look fantastic. And how dare you rub it in people's faces and pretend like, oh, I don't know that I'm beautiful. That's like Tchaikovsky saying, oh, I was dicking around and I came up with this. Give Ooh. me one thing. Tchaikovsky, he does your theme song. He came up with your theme song, oh, the 1812? Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And you know what that's about? Here's my question. Yes. What? Russian Revolution. Yes. Yeah, see? Why do you got to bring politics uh -huh. into uh -huh. it is my question. See? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Didn't, Give me one thing you're insecure about physically so we can knock you down a few pounds. Physically? Yeah. I know I have small calves. There we go. That's some good stuff. I'm interested in that now. You're considered a throwback to the old school. Yes. When wrestlers were taken seriously. You really think Carl Gox sat around the locker room playing Uno? He'd probably play cards. Because all the old school wrestlers, they play cards. Yeah, they not play, these silly, oh, they, reverse this, take play, this back, pick up play, four. They play gin. Real cards. I play gin, too. Oh, you do? Yes, I yeah. do. I'm sure Carl Gox yeah. and uh, things, Edward Carpentier were playing Jackbox over Zoom. Yeah. I heard there's a new Vern Gagne skin on Fall Guys. I know, right? Yeah. Jesus. I think, you have, I think he had his own trading card, Vergani, didn't he? Please, stay what on about, task. What about Vergani Jr.? What about him? Greg? Yeah. We're to, this is a Gagne tribute episode all of a sudden? You want to keep talking I about mean, the Gagnes? I mean, I don't know. You have your you're, own coffee. You're Canadian. I'm Canadian. We've established it. Yes. Yes. Does Gagne sound Canadian to you? No, well, a it's little bit, Minnesota. He's, he's north, northern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. Great connection right there. Yeah, very nice. Real good. You have your own coffee. I do. So do I. So does Danhausen. What makes yours so special? Big things. Mm, ah, the branding, it's all coming together now. Well done. You are well, also- I would, I would love to taste your coffee. You want to do a coffee swap? We should do a coffee swap. We will do a all coffee right. swap. You've heard it here first. It's going to be a big coffee swap. And after this, we'll never speak to each other again. Yeah. But for what these are, purposes- what are, um, what are your flavor notes? It's, it's dark. It's a nutty darkness. <laughs> Doesn't that say a lot? That's, hmm? uh, I love it. I what love it. What about yours? Uh, rich chocolatey with a little hint of- um, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, um, what am I trying to say? Vagueness? Uh, yeah, yeah, vagueness. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of the fruit. Yeah. Little, little, little fruitiness in it as well. Yeah. Uh, just any fruit. Uh, the, the fruit okay. that I cannot think of. Yeah, I'll have real to good sales pitch there. Yeah, great sales pitch. Cool. Hey, you're also. Big things. Real good. That's what you need you're to know. You're also known for your dad jokes, as you Am I? demonstrated. I think yes. you are. I'm a little bit of a humorist myself. So let's riff. I'm going to give you the setup. You give me the punchline, okay? Oh, oh, that's going to be hard, all right. My cat is such a handful. Oh, man. I got nothing. That every day is a catastrophe. It was right that's there. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's really good. That is brilliant. <clears throat> I just got back from Blackpool. Now I need to take a shower. And boy, are my hammerlocks tired. That's where I was going with that. <clears throat> that John Moxley is so disorganized that I gave him a suitcase, but he didn't know how to pack it. Exactly. Took you a second, but you got there. I had lunch with Eddie Kingston today. All right. What did you guys eat? Oh, we're still on the jokes. We're still on the jokes. You think jokes. I'm dining with that guy? <laughs> yeah, I yeah don't know. Uh, Ruben for this guy over here. I had lunch with Eddie Kingston today. And Ruben, right? Sorry, yeah. I had lunch with Eddie Kingston yeah. today. Let's see if you can get one of these. Okay, I, I, I don't think I can. Give me your best shot. I had lunch with Eddie Kingston today. Okay. You and had a Ruben? Nope. He was very loud, then he beat the shit out of a waiter. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Well, here, here, speaking of Kingston, yes. where, does a, where does a king keep his armies? In his sleevesies. You think this is my first joke off, pal? Please. All right, I need Insulting. to step it up here. I need to step it up here. Well, this has been a zeitgeist. Has it been? I think so. And I wanted to do the Code of Honor to close, but can I give you a hug? Sure. Are you you want to go on top? I don't know. We were talking about, okay, so. I'll go like this. Okay, okay. Mm. All right. Oh, I have to turn off the phone. Hold on. Can you come back? This, yeah. Can you do it? See? Is this I'm it? A great, Is I'm this? a great oh. hugger. See? I got it. Thank you.